Okay, so we still got some people here and we got some questions. So let's take a look. MH Unity says, you set the decal values as an array of collisions, but am I correct in assuming that collision array will always be one as on a collision the particle is removed? No, because we're not actually, it's not an array of collisions. It's an array of all the splats that we want to display, right? So if I do this, Now we've got however many that is, one, two, three, four, five, maybe 12 splats. And we need to keep track in our array of, in our particle decal data array, position, rotation, color, and size, because every time we call set particle, which uh, particle system dot set particles, which will be when we shoot again, when we get another collision, then, um, we need to preserve that for the next iteration. I confess this definitely inspired, heavily inspired by <laughs> Splatoon. Although this is something you could use for all kinds of stuff. I feel like the obvious use is to do blood, you know, to have like crazy gibs all over the place. And you could do actually some cool creative stuff with it, but I didn't want to do that. Um, FHY Kane asks, how much performance is getting and setting particles? Well, you can see it's happening pretty fast. Let's take a look in the profiler. Uh, let me reopen the profiler. So, bunch of bunch of particles, and if we look. Particle system dot update, fixed behavior update, behavior update. Where is my script? I can't even find it. Physics dot simulate. Let's turn off. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> you see that? That's this. That's those are my scripts. One millisecond. Let's sort by time. Oh, these are sorted by time. Camera.render. Particle system update two. Here's the on particle collision, 0.5 seconds. It's pretty fast. Uh, I can't even find my script in here. But you should do your own. See, I'm obviously, I'm running on a very fast PC and I'm not doing anything but this, right? So you need to do your own tests on device and figure it out, but it's pretty fast. Twig Pro, yeah, my coworker, Twig Pro says, it would seem collision detection of particles would take quite a bit of time. I was surprised too by how much I was, how many I was able to do and get away with and have it be remain performant. My coworker was really surprised as well. Um, again, remember it's a fast computer, but you can get, you know, you could do some stuff. And I'm obviously kind of doing a lot, right? You wouldn't necessarily need to do, well, depending on your game, what you were trying to do, but. Uh, yes, the source will be available online. The um, finished scripts will be posted with the archive at unity3d.com slash learn slash live training. MH Unity says, I think I need to spend longer reading the code to work out creation and destruction points of values. Yeah, I hear you. It's not super intuitive, but basically we are recording everything in the decal data array and then just overwriting that when we run out of space and then passing that anytime we need to just change the displayed particle system we're passing that to the actual array of particles and calling set particles um there might be i was wondering i was trying to think if there was a clean way to do it without using the two arrays and copying it back and forth and probably a better programmer could think of a way to do that but that was the way that made sense to me at the time and the way I got it working and it's performance so I figure it'll it'll do for now uh twig pro asks is it generally advised to use plain arrays instead of a generic list I originally did this with a list but what was the problem I think I was creating a new list very often and it was allocating and using the array 
The thing is for the decals, I want to have a fixed number of decals. I don't want to be able to spawn an infinite number of decals because then we're going to run into performance problems. So the array, because it has a fixed length, made sense. You could probably do it with a list as well, but array was fine here. Yes, and as McKeel says, indeed, plain array is more efficient than generic list. Yes, good point. All right, everybody. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch off my mic, and I'll hang out in the chat for a few more minutes, and I'm going to cut the stream. But thanks again for coming out. And we will be back in two weeks. Um, I haven't announced the topic yet, but we will definitely have a live training session in two weeks at 3 p.m. Eastern time, same time as what we did today on Wednesday, right? Don't forget, we've moved to Wednesday, um, and we're going to be doing Wednesday afternoons going forward. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time.